Good morning, my Virgos. Happy Earth Sign Day for everybody out there. For all you Virgos watching, I have Tara the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have an Eight of Swords Reverse uh, Gemini Energy and I have a Temperance Sagittarius Energy. An Eight of Swords Reverse feels like not letting something bother you. Temperance being the major arcana feels like you're in control of a situation and an eight of swords reverse. Why would you be in an eight of swords reverse? Why, 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 why? What's below it? Ten of swords reverse Gemini and a queen of swords. Now, I can't help to think with two Geminis here, your magician major arcana card, you share it with Gemini. So it's the half of you, the, the overthinking. I feel like somebody's trying to get into your head, but you're like, nope. Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, Reverse. I feel like you're really trying not to let people bother you at, at this time. Um, let's see, what's below the Temperance? Queen of Wands, Sun, Reverse, Six of Cups, Reverse. It, yeah, that's what it just feels like. You're in control of a situation. It's it's kind of like if you get into an argument with somebody and they, no matter what answer you give them, they, are, they already have like a backup answer you know, of why you're going to be wrong. It's kind of like you're maneuvering away from traps. I feel like it's either within work or it could be within a relationship, but I just feel like you're really in control. You're really zen. You're really focused, probably because you're more focused on your goals and what it is you want and less focused because look at the queen of wands being here, less focused on what people think. So Queen of Wands doesn't really care what people think. It's none of her business. She there's she knows who she is. And that's what I feel. I just feel like people are irritating you. And you know, a lot of times when people do that, it's kind of like, it, it, it's jealousy. So what is it that you have? What is it who you are? Your talents, your skills? Because I'm telling you, it, they probably don't have it. And so I just feel like people are trying to get in your head and make you feel bad about the th the the gifts that you are given or or what you have going on but let's see if this continues or if it's a completely different reading going on virgo sun moon rising venus virgo if you are a virgo know a virgo feel like being a virgo ah get back in there uh <laughs> sorry i talked to these cards all right if you feel like being a Virgo, Virgos, I'm glad you're here. You can be a Virgo and this resonates, or you can be dealing with a Virgo. It could resonate as the main story, and Virgo could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Virgo or for a Virgo. Take it as it resonates. General energy for the Virgos. What is going on? What is going on? It's like they because they can't be you, they want you to doubt you. Not happening. Not happening. General energy for the Virgos. Collective messages. Yeah, Queen of Swords Reverse. Let's see why. Let's see if this is you or them. What's influencing the Queen of Swords Reverse? That could be a very biting, bitchy energy, but it could also be Vir Virgo very pulled back and protected. That's why it's... You gotta see. These cards, each card has so many meanings. What's influencing the Queen of Swords Reverse? What's influencing the Queen of Swords Reverse? There it is. The Tower and the Hierophant, Ace of Cups. Look at that. And what I love about the Ace of Cups is self-love. I mean, doesn't that look like self-love and the butterflies and transformational? You're not looking for approval anywhere. Not look, not at all. You know who you are. Ace of Cups influencing the Queen of Swords Reverse too. I feel like there's also something, could be in a new love, new relationship going on too that you're trying to keep it secretive and protected. The Tower and the Hierophant. It almost feels like a secret relationship going on here. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Crazy. Really crazy good. All right. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Virgos? What's the reason for the reading? Three of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn energy. I feel like you, you are the secret weapon. That's the... It's not like you have a secret weapon. You are the secret weapon. People just don't know it. They don't realize until after it's already happened. I don't know that I, that just I felt the need to say that for somebody. What's in the past? What's in the past for Virgos? What's in the past? Ten, there it is. I ten of swords coming at all angles. And look at but what I like about it, Zen. That's that temperance energy. She's like whatever whatever 
I just, I just feel like you know who you are and you know who you're not. What's on your mind? What is on Virgo's mind? I feel like you have something big coming your way. And it's, let's see, what's on Virgo's mind? What is on Virgo's mind? Some type of opportunity. What is it? It's Ten of Wands reverse and a Three of Pentacles reverse. Some of you might be leaving a job, but I feel like it's for a better opportunity. With this Ace of Cups here, Ten of Wands reverse is laying the burden down. I mean, you have two tens here, and tens talk about a cycle ending. It could be a could have been at something for a very long time, and you know, it's just it's it's I. I I just feel like people want you to doubt your abilities. And I, for some reason, I really feel like I need to lay the message out to some Virgo needs to hear this, that don't ever doubt your abilities here. You got a three of pentacles reverse. This is, this is, it, it's, you know, like, look at her. She's trying to get these two birds on the same page. I always feel like she's doing this, snapping her fingers. Come on, get with the program. I'm trying to build something here. But people are out for their own interest. And you are tired of carrying the weight for other people. See the Ten of Wands. And the, she, it's like you can't even see her anymore. She's, she's covered in other people's problems or the problems they try to lay on you. And so I just feel devil reverse into a Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups feels like, sorry, I have it reverse. It was actually upright. This Ten of Cups feels like an Ace of Cups. I feel like you have some type of new opportunity. It could be a relationship and it's just lightening your load. And because of that, your viewpoint is saying, you know what? I, I think that, I think my job here is done. I feel like it's time for a fresh start somewhere else, doing something new. But why do I feel like you have a, a big job opportunity here? It's like a new relationship and new job. What's in the near future for Virgo? What's in the near future for the Virgos? What's in the near future for the Virgos? Interesting, interesting. Why all these came out? This is, this is wild. So both King of Pentacles came out, the masculine and the feminine. This feels like a partnership. I, I, that's what I, I mean with Pentacles, it feels like some, a, some type of partnership, some type of advancement, definitely an advancement. King of Wands reverse and a Knight of Pentacles reverse. This honestly feels like what you're leaving behind with this Three of Pentacles reverse. This King of Wands reverse being a female and see what the magician, what did I say with the Gemini? I feel like somebody's trying to get into your head here so you can doubt because I don't think they want to pay you your worth. That's what I feel. And I feel like this person is very, very sly and very sneaky. Now I do feel let's just say you are the king of wands in this situation see the magic wand i feel like somebody is trying to have you upside down here and use you for what you can do but pay not pay you three of pentacles reverse virgo is a knight of pentacles reverse virgo's marijuana leafy horse days are over with this person i feel like you're you have a very seedy character in your life for many of you, I feel like it's a boss. Somebody's not paying your worth. They're not seeing what you're what you're capable of. This feels like a partnership, though. Near future feels like here's your offer coming in. A king of pentacles, the masculine and feminine. It might literally be two people. It actually does feel like two people. It feels like two people under the same umbrella, like the same company. This is this is probably the, the wildest Virgo read I've ever done. I don't know what the energy today, everything is very deep and specific and complicated. Okay, what is the Queen of Swords reverse? Queen of Swords reverse doing here. You have a lot of people doing here. Can I just say this? You have a lot of people. And it, it's, I feel like it's reflected in these different hands coming at her. You have 
10 of wands here you have a lot of people you're trying to manage and deal with and get on your side and understand your vision of things what you want because you're you can see how it needs to go to get to that ten of pentacles you can see what needs to happen but these these people that re are represented in the birds they're 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 short short-sighted people they only are looking after the next week well, if I can't see it in my paycheck, how in the heck is that ever going to amount to anything? You know, it's like they're they're worried about this week and you're worried about a legacy or longevity or your name or what it means. And with here, these people see your vision. This is a new job opportunity. I do feel that for a Virgo here. What is the Queen of Swords reverse Libra? Queen of Swords reverse Libra in energy. And look at so look at the nine of cups reverse this is feeling drained and unhappy very burdened with the ten of wands reverse why five of swords reverse and a magician reverse that's exactly it five of swords reverse is feeling manipulated so you, to so you i feel like somebody's trying to make you doubt your abilities and i really feel like this whole reading needs to happen to remind you virgo of who you really are if the magician comes out reverse or upright, it really doesn't matter. It just means that you're doubting yourself at this time. And King of Pentacles at the bottom, never doubt these abilities you have, whoever I'm reading for. Pretty powerful. What is the Ace of Cups influencing the Queen of Swords reverse? Ace of Cups. The eight, there you are, the Eight of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Pentacles on the Ace of Cups? This just tells me this is why it's like it could be love but what i feel like is you're gonna fall in love with what you're doing again i don't think you've you've liked what you've been doing for a long time over here you're gonna fall in love with it because they see the you, you it's like-minded people what is the eight of pentacles what is the eight of pentacles and the ace of cups what is the eight of pentacles Five of Wands, that's not, I'm not really feeling that card. A whole bunch of started to fall out. Why the Eight of Pentacles? It could be competitiveness at your work. People, you know, especially if it's like this, like if you are a manager, if you are a boss, if you are someone people look up to, it's just telling me that people are trying to maybe uh, upseat you to, ta to take what you have. It just feels like underhandedness. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Yep, Ten of Cups reverse. You got a Nine of Cups reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. I just feel like it's very com combative. I just feel like Virgo's falling out of love with what it, where you're at. Why the Three of Pentacles reverse? Reason for the reading. Why the Three of Pentacles reverse? The reason for the reading. The Five of Pentacles, which leads to a ten of wands here but here's your offer i'm just telling you about six of pentacles i'm just looking at this i'm sorry the five of pentacles reason for the reading and near future reason in the near future are normally very strongly linked and normally in the readings it's a, it's 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 very almost current energy the near could just be in a couple days but in this case i feel like these are two separate people and i feel like it's somehow at a different job i feel like this is definitely a, a work read for a virgo and over here the five of pentacles these people being both taurus energy are looking to fill i really feel like they're they're trying really hard to fill a certain type of position. And I feel like their eyes are on you. This is very, very strange. Six of Pentacles, Taurus is the offer. We're, we'll get there. Ten of Swords in the past. Ten of Swords in the past. Gemini energy, what is this about? I see the Page of Pentacles reverse when it come out. Why the Ten of Swords in the past? Why the Ten of Swords in the past for Virgo? The, the page of pentacles reverse what did i say i wanted to come out queen of swords reverse somebody yeah somebody doesn't want to pay you your worth and so they micromanage you they tell they 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 oh what 
it's in my it's in the tip of my tongue they uh they want to no matter what you pull off no matter what you do virgo it's not enough it is enough secretly to them they're they're very happy they just don't want to pay you for it so they're gonna they're gonna play it down that's what it is they're gonna play it down that's that gemini energy of your magician they want to they want to get in your head and make you doubt yourself they want to gaslight you is what they're doing so they don't have to pay you what they owe you ten of wands reverse on your mind sagittarius why the ten of wands reverse why the ten of wands reverse thank you and the star reverse it, it's it's a hopeless situation but i also feel you i just feel completely drained here's the offer three of pentacles and the eight of cups with that six of pentacles i feel this all the taurus energy is the new offer all of this is taurus right so here's the capricorn the the, the other half to it the queen so the three of pentacles is is they're over here at a seven you have the three i feel like it's like magnets once you guys get close enough it's gonna you're gonna absolutely know you have to be here and the eight of cups is feeling ever with every step you walk away from this you're gonna feel lighter and better and know it's the right it's the right thing you have to do why the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles masculine and feminine here near future why the king of pentacles in the near future okay we got this magician reverse high priestess reverse here's our libra and here's the gemini and you both be in reverse but a ten of pentacles at the end the magician reverse is a need to like i said when it comes out reverse actually i'm getting a couple different things there but when we talk about the self when the magicians reverses we're just not feeling our own power we feel powerless right um we forget what we're capable of because as much as we try so hard not to get let people in our heads they're in our heads you know and that is kind of why you know let's just say let's just say you wrote a book or something okay and you could get 99 percent positive comments but the one person gives you a negative review you're going to fixate on that negative review it's part of the virgo perfection you want something to be perfect before it gets out there and so the magician reverse is feeling like you know it's just self-doubt it's a lot of self-doubt but the flip side of these cards is why do you have the self-doubt the high priestess reverse can be red flags and the magician reverse can with these two cards together it's a very underhanded energy i feel like somebody doesn't want to pay you your worth somebody once i see the devil reverse and the world reverse somebody was keeping you from your victory lap six of wands is a lot of success I don't i don't know why that is i don't i it just feels like they're cheap honestly it feels like they're very cheap but there it also feels personal at the same time so the ten of pentacles with the king of pentacles i this is virgo energy but the king does have a ten i feel like you're going to get paid your worth at this new place this definitely is a work read for a virgo out there and i feel like you're just going to get tired you know you take the high road you try to ignore you try to not let people bother you with the ten of swords but you're really done you're really done being manipulated and i just you're just you're there's a better fit over here there's you you got a ten of pentacles you can't get higher than that in tarot you really can't but it you know what i feel is what if this was like a bonus or extended reading i have a feeling what's to come is a magician upright with that it, the magician being reverse only tells me it's a state of mind and that can change in within seconds it doesn't have to be weeks or years it's about self-belief and self-belief can happen in a, a millisecond it's remembering what you're capable of and really it's jealous energies that really want to pull you down because this is where they reside low vibrational energies and with you up there it it, it reflects on them not doing much with themselves i'll be honest so i feel like yeah i just feel like you're re really ready to come back into your power but you have to get away from this i really feel that i feel with this eight of cups 
to me, the most powerful card in all of it was the Eight of Cups. What are they walking into? See the world at the top of the mountain? And I feel like there's a new cycle ready to begin and it starts, it doesn't start with struggle, it starts with the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're gonna get an, a big ass offer over here at Virgo. You have, a, you have a lot of money here, but you just have to remember who you are and what you're capable of and, and don't let people play you down. All right, my dears, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys later. Take care.